Today people we take another look at a new shotgun to the franchise, this one again exclusive to the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC and it's called the Flame Diddle. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you guys enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and if you want to step to date with all things Borderlands be sure to subscribe. So this Flame Adido is a world drop with Inside Logos, exclusive to DLC 2 owners. I had this drop where I've had most of my legendaries drop and that is from an enemy called a Mac within Curse Haven, a great farm for all new legendaries, a spot I've already covered in a video on my channel. So this TDR shotgun, the Flame Adido, 8, never turn your back on a monster. Let's cut to the chase here people, shotguns in this game, we ain't short on, there are some amazing already in the game and with the addition of the Anarchy and other new shotgun which arrived with this DLC, it's going to be hard for any other shotguns to leave a decent mark. This TDO weapon though is actually quite capable, my variant offering 551 times 9 which is just short of 5k damage which isn't too bad. Now I do know there is a Flame or Diddle Plus Plus as I've seen it at a level 13 but obviously can't judge that at a level 57, a new level cap now. That could be even better than this. Now this thing's speciality I believe is kind of a unique way of firing. It shoots off 5 shots per single shot of small fast moving projectiles which do indeed ricochet. On reload it also seems upon you throwing down that turret, the turret mid flight also fires off a couple of shots. Now using this against actual enemies I do feel it's these mini turrets which are this thing's speciality. Upon throwing them they obviously stick to the nearest floor or wall and then they chase down those enemies laying off shots. I will also add the very same shots we see fired from this flame little shotgun before these little mini turrets then explode. They are quite the trooper they really are. These things also jump which is hilarious to see. Now the one bad thing about spamming them out is let's say you reload after firing one shot just to spawn those troopers, it takes a full click worth of ammo. Now I ain't sure if this is usual for TDO weapons as I haven't really tested any of them as they truly don't stand out to me, none of them grab my attention that much. So yes, if this isn't new I apologise. But it makes to actually try to have fun with this thing lead you to burn out that ammo. And you run out of the ammo before you even realise, I mean I ran out of the ammo basically in the first round of the system of slaughter which is unseen of. But yeah all in all guys it's actually a decent shotgun to use, it isn't the most powerful in the game by a long shot but it is unique in what it does and to be honest I've seen a couple of TDO dedicated builds in the past and I do believe I will see ones built around this too. So yes my thoughts on the flame and diddle, it's a decent shotgun fun to use but far from the most powerful and efficient in the game, they are much better out there for almost all scenarios this game throws at you. Now with this guns love and tentacles DLC we have seen many legendaries introduced to the game, even though some of them like this one ain't crazy powerful, ain't made for every instance the game throws at you, they are unique in the way they work which I do appreciate 2k and gearbox putting those out there and this flame of diddle is definitely one of those unique new weapons. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps, uh, if you are new around here and want to stay up to date with all the latest Borderlands news, weapon reviews, build guides, glitches, whatever, make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.